so on this job I'm doing some fibrous and some solid plastering I'm actually DH plastering made the moulds up and this is the job ahead you can see a very very poorly shaped ceiling another plaster had attempted to skim it some damaged very very damaged cornicing as you can see but um basically yeah some other plaster had tried to repair the ceiling and the ceiling dropped and um, paint and plaster came off hence the reason also we gotta replicate this to there um, but hence the reason why you gotta make sure your foundations are solid because if you plaster over loose paint or plaster you will eventually end up with your plaster on the floor which won't be any good to anyone but um so basically the owner has covered up all the walls and um, i would have much preferred to rip the whole ceiling down and start from fresh but the house as you can see it's finished to a pretty high quality standard um, all the walls have already been painted doors fitted downstairs wooden floor and um, so ripping the ceiling down would create a lot of lot of lot of mess and there would be no guarantees we could save that cornice as you can see how badly damaged it was before this clip um, I'll maybe put some side by side things here at the end but you can see that it's actually nearly filled in now and I'm actually on my I think this is the final wet trail um, with the Rafina Finitex trail which is going very very nice indeed um, but back back to the job and there is dip laugh in this but like I said the foul of the house covered up the walls he also pre-treated the ceiling for me as well he gave it all the code SBR and I know my mate Dyson was asking me questions about um, a wall he was looking for some advice and basically it was a lath and plaster wall similar to the ceiling and that, that could be a, another tactic that he could think about is SBR the dusty bits and maybe give the whole thing another SBR um, that being said I did PVA the ceiling again and you've seen from all my preparation that I scrimmed all the big major cracks I actually did a bit more scrimming after that clip as well um, but I scrimmed all the major cracks and with the heavy holes that were there which you've seen back the lath I made sure and press a good little button up to make sure that it keyed up behind the sticks and gripped right and tight. Um, another wee thing there guys, you can actually see that the corbel has been fitted on my right here. And look how crisp that is. That's testament to my mate T H Plaster, how, how good he really is. Um, I might do another video and show what that thing looked like beforehand it was in bad bad shape he stripped it all down a lot, a lot of hours in it a lot of hard work in it stripped it down repaired it up and made a fresh copy so that it's solid um, so this this is actually more crisp than the other corbel on the opposite side which has paint on it it's actually in better condition than this one was but the reason he went back to being crisp is if the owner decided to strip the other corbels in the house they would come back very similar to this crisp um, you know crisp finish so he's done the, the real professional thing on it um, as the whole job has been done um, in my opinion the ceiling came in very well as well so and all the bits and pieces that were all patched up and stuff but you can see for yourself the detail in that corbel. It's it's amazing. Um, but yeah, and the ceiling. I was given good good bit of pressure in the last trial, and definitely think the SBR was a good way to go. Um, and the PVM as well, as the ceiling still actually did soak in a quite a bit, even though the SBR is waterproof. A wee close up of the Rafina trial there. Um, it's actually very very comfortable and light. Um, still not 
100% broken, but it's very, very nice to travel around with. Um, also, the thing different I did was we dropped the, the fire alarm there, the smoke detector down. I find that working around that gives a, a cleaner finish than if you're just working around the actual lid of it itself. Um, so basically, if anybody is watching and they want one of these corbels made, that can be done. Just drop me a message and let me know your thoughts. And it can definitely be arranged. But that's the job complete. Um, just a wee bit cleaning up to be done. Getting close here. Like I say, I'm going to drop a couple of side by side clips here. Showing the before and after. Um, so you just can sort of see the, the change in this whole job. And some of the dirt around the corner stairs actually there originally as well just the same as the smoke detector as you can see here obviously it wasn't me as the smoke detector is released off the ceiling so the only thing left to do here is give the place a clean get too close for comfort i'll retract feel so fragile under your thumb one frost snap Final curtain, that's time Pretty certain it'd be straight to the other side Got nothing to hide, so I'll hang back I'm protecting the pride Ooh, am I on track? Brothers! What we do in life Echoes in eternity